Okay, cool. So we're taking a look at 2017 uh, question 1A of paper 1. Uh, paper 1, question 1, the A part. And they've asked, uh, write the function f of x equals to 2x squared minus 7x minus 10. And they want to write it in the form a by x plus h squared plus k. So what we want to recognize first off is that this form here is completing the square. Okay, and for completing the square, we have uh, basically this kind of rule formula. Now, there is ways to do it in your head. Um, for one as complex as this, where the middle number is an odd number, and you have a number in front of the x, I just think it's easier just to use the formula. So to use our formula, we need to make sure that the number for the x squared is, well, there is no number except the number one. So I'll just start with this. I'll say 2x squared minus 7x minus 10 equals zero. I will factorize out the two. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna divide by two, okay? Because I wanna get it in this form here at the end. So I'm just gonna take out two. So that becomes seven over two x minus five. Now this part in here, I'm going to apply my rule. So the p is the number in front of the x, which in this case would be seven over two, and the q is the number on its own, which is the five, minus five. So I get two times bracket x, seven over two divided by two would be seven over four, so it's minus seven over four squared, uh, minus bracket, sorry, that should be squared up there, minus seven over four again, squared, plus q, which is minus five in this case. So next I get two bracket, uh, we leave this alone, okay, because we are writing it in this form up here. Uh, minus seven over four, so we're just gonna grab our calculators, or you, well, it's 49 over 16. So it becomes 49 over 16. Uh, minus 5. Okay, lastly, we're going to multiply, well actually we'll clear up this first, so we say 2 bracket x minus 7 over 4 squared, and then this guy minus 49 over 16 minus 5 is going to become minus 129 over 16, but we'll just double check because I'm not making this mistake again. 49 over 16 minus five is, no, it's not, it's minus 31 over 16. Where'd you get 129? Being silly, that's fair. Okay, cool. Minus 49, oh, nope, I didn't do it. I didn't do it right in the calculator. So, minus 31, 129. Minus 129, because I can't add. So, minus 129 over 16. Okay, and then finally multiply the two into it. Two by x minus uh, seven over four squared minus 129 over eight. Now you've written it in that form. I can put equal to zero. This equal to zero business actually, really I probably are a bit bold by doing it or even writing it. I'm just writing it from the generic equation that we have. Um, you can just, look, you can simply do this. It's like factorizing. It didn't actually give us an equation, it gave us an expression, so technically we should treat it as such. Um, either way, it doesn't matter, we get down to the same thing. Just, if you were asked to solve it, you could solve it that way as well. Okay, um, that's it. I'm just going to double check the answer is correct before I go further and say that that is the end of the A part. And yes, the answer is correct. Lovely.